The second thing I should bring up that all ex-Jehovah's Witnesses should get familiar with is a site called NoBlood.org. It's a website online that boasts many medical professionals on it, giving medical advice regarding alternatives to blood transfusions. It delights in giving information only regarding the positives of bloodless surgery without citing anything regarding blood transfusions, how safe they are compared to the early century, what choices you have in emergency situations, etc. I'm going to say get familiar with it because it's going to be cited in the future and more than likely quite a lot. I was given the website to which I was quite leery when I saw it as it seemed like a front to back the blood policy by tricking physicians into endorsing the site thinking they're educating the masses about bloodless surgery when all they're really doing is backing the Jehovah's Witness blood doctrine. But let me get to my correspondence so I can give you the facts regarding the website. So here's my initial message that I sent to the webmaster on the site under the contact us area of the site. To whom it may concern. Someone sent a link to your site here and I was looking for your qualifications on running the site. It seems a bit biased and I'm wondering if the folks who run this site are Jehovah's Witnesses. And secondly, the only information about the folks who run this site's credentials for being experts on bloodless surgery is the term medical professionals, which is very vague. Could you give me a rundown of the qualifications of the webmasters and contributors to the site? Are they doctors? What are their specialties? Where do they practice? Are they nurses? What fields do they specialize in? Are they something else? And if so, what? What qualifies them to give out information on this site as medical reference? Thank you. My name. Now, I received a response not from the webmaster Larry Idle, but a Dr. Joseph Malik. So I got uh, this, uh, the following response. Thank you for your interest in noblood.org. Mr. Idle referred your queries to me. Please refer to this page, which addresses your concern regarding site bias, Jehovah's Witnesses, and medical advice, and gave me the link. Of the 9,000 plus member, a number are physicians. I cannot give you an exact figure. None of the physicians, surgeons, nurses, and uh, perfusionists that post comments are paid for their time. If, however, you were in a position to fund a compensated medical advisory committee for no blood, we would graciously accept your gift! Exclamation mark. Very cute, Dr. Malik. It is a Joseph T. Malik, MD, FAAP. I was indeed impressed. You can actually search Joseph Malik and indeed find that he is a doctor and a reputable one at that, even though he's sarcastic. If you're wondering the things he referred to in addressing my concerns, here's some of the quotes from the website. Capital letters. This does, this site does not provide medical advice. The No Blood site is a resource for discussing healthcare topics related to blood management and avoidance, commonly known to and referred to throughout this website as bloodless healthcare. The contents of the site, such as text, graphics, images, information obtained from No Blood licensors, licensors, <laughs> and other material contained on the site content are for informational purposes only. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health care provider with any questions that you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you've read on the No Blood site. Sure, yeah, good disclaimer. So basically, whatever's said on this site, if you uh, bring that to a doctor's attention, you're SOL. We won't take credit for it. We won't say that, you know, oh, our website actually said that that's a, uh, a perfectly legit process. If you think you have a medical emergency, call your doctor 911 immediately. No Blood does not recommend or endorse any specific tests, physicians, products, procedures, opinions, yeah, sure, or other information that may be mentioned on the site, reliance on any information provided by No Blood, No Blood employees, others appearing on the site at the invitation of No Blood, so invitation, or other visitors to the site are solely at your own risk. So in other words, they're not endorsing the opinions on the site, but they invite people with specific opinions to post on the site. Sure. Now again in capital letters, attention Jehovah's Witnesses, 
end of capitalization. No Blood, the publisher of No Blood, is not affiliated with any political or religious organization. It is recognized that Jehovah's Witnesses likely make up the largest group using the site. Issues relating to the advance of healthcare directives, questions about various blood fractions, and medical treatments are regularly discussed in No Blood forums. However, please be reminded that the primary source of bloodless healthcare support for you is your local elders and hospital liaison committee. How would they know that? they were Jehovah's Witnesses. We hope that No Blood continues to be an excellent resource to complement your healthcare research needs. Please limit your comments to healthcare topics. So I'd like to point out here that NoBlood.org is essentially a forum. To say that 9,000 plus are members and many are physicians is a bit misleading. It's like saying that Facebook has a million members and many are psychologists. It doesn't exactly show qualifications for those giving relationship advice on there now, does it? Regardless, the biggest thing that I found is the lie in the Jehovah's Witness deal on there. Uh, note that my original message said that I was leery of bias, that I thought the site was made by Jehovah's Witnesses to endorse the No Blood Doctrine. Well, if you research the webmaster's name, Larry Idle, on Google, one of the first things you'll find is his Twitter account, which I reference in my response to Dr. Malik. Dr. Malik, this is my this is my response to Dr. Malik. Dr. Malik, I have reviewed your qualifications and am thrilled to see that you are affiliated with something like this. I realize that the easiest and quickest solution in an emergency blood loss situation is for blood transfusion, and that doctors like yourself finding solutions that work just as effectively and efficiently as a blood transfusion is fantastic. I noted your Center for Bloodless Surgery, which is a fantastic resource, and I do see that your TLC Care Pediatricians, which is very reputable as well. If you are affiliated with this site, then I can only conclude that it is of a medical nature, informing people what their choices are in planned surgeries and what alternatives there are available to blood transfusions and not endorsing a policy which allows hemoglobin transfusions but not red blood cell transfusions, bone marrow transplant but not white blood cell transfusions, albumin transfusions but not platelet transfusions, etc. I can only commend the work that you do and hope your research does find more available resources to combat many cases of needless death which could have been prevented from simple education and choices. I am in a situation to donate but would be more inclined to donate to a facility like the Center for bloodless surgery with an already proven track record of producing options to save lives as opposed to a website that looks to have just recently been started. And I did. I donated $250 to uh, the, the uh, Center for Bloodless Surgery. Uh, again, while I am thrilled that a person with your qualifications is affiliated with this site, and I can only conclude if a doctor is affiliated with this site, it is on the up and up, but I still remain a little leery as to the webmaster's original intent of the site, since his Twitter account seems to be non-stop Jehovah's Witness apologetics, including links to articles that show the New World Translation is the most accurate Bible translation. Uh, links to speeches by Barack Obama referencing the New World Order, pointing to the end of days, thereby proving we are in the time of the end, like the Jehovah's Witnesses teach, and using the site that you are affiliated to to prove that Jehovah's Witnesses are right to refuse blood transfusions. I do thank you for responding to my question so promptly. It is greatly appreciated. And once again, I need to tell you how much respect I have for your work with bloodless surgery. It's making a far less dangerous position to take, not accepting blood transfusions during surgery. I guess I just feel it's too bad the groundbreaking work you're doing is being used to validate a teaching that in and of itself cannot be defined. Thank you so much for your time. My name. All right, so I haven't gotten a response back from the good doctor, which I wonder why. It took him less than a day to send me the initial response, but it's been nearly a week at this point. You can see here, if you do the research, you'll see that noblood.org is essentially a sham, but one that physicians have bit onto. I'm sorry, Larry Idle, but you're not that smart. I realize that you've put up a front that the website has no actual purpose to it other than to educate people about bloodless surgery, but your own words tell us otherwise. Really, do Jehovah's Witnesses not think we're going to research what they say? Why would they think that? 